Right, uh, what I've got here is like, uh, I've got like a, a plasma globe and I've got it lighting up and I've got the wire coming all the way around down to this coil here and uh, I know for a while that the second coil is completely tuned to it and like uh, there's a little gap between them and uh, I've got the uh, the second version of this just over here, which is lighting up nice and brightly, and now uh, it's doing over one wire, and the wire is going up and over, and it's taped up there. Now. Um, at, at the moment then, uh, we have got a uh, one wire transmission of energy, if you used to uh, look at that, and look at that, you can see that uh, it, we're not getting full transmission of it yet, but uh, I think we're getting there, right, yeah. I think the coils are the key to it, but uh, over here, nice and bright. Over here is brightish. So as you'll see, the uh, the coils aren't touching at all. Now, uh, if I put my hand on it, it goes off completely. If I move the coils closer together, you can see that it gets brighter. And if I move the coils slightly apart, you can see it gets dimmer. But like, uh, what we're getting here is one wire transmission of energy, and then uh, it is wirelessly transmitted through. The two coils here, of which are in uh, complete resonance to each other. So, uh, if we bring it as close as we can, it's not as bright, not as bright as the original, obviously. So, as I'd say, it was getting about 50%. That's just a guess. Like, uh, I'd have to put multi meters on it, but uh, I, uh, I think this is quite strange because uh, we're using just like a, an aerial to pick up the power from it, and uh, basically, like, uh, I think that uh, if we was to either put more input into it or fine tune the output. So okay, we'll, we'll be able to uh, wireless you transmit uh, further than what two centimeters we've got there, and uh, and this is what I'm walking working towards really, and uh, hopefully. Uh, We'll be able to get that to uh, a distance which is a, a room's length. Because you can see it's working, and it, the surprising thing is, it's like a, one wire comes in, one wire comes out as an aerial. So I'm starting to think that uh, it's the aerial of which is making all of this possible. Uh, all we need to do is to make the uh, the aerial a bit more efficient, and as soon as we do, it's like uh, we'll be able to get the uh, the same amount of uh, power on the actual receiving side. Well, thanks for watching, and like uh, definitely more to come.
it appears that like uh, over here we've got the uh, the main output and like uh, we're using the capacitance at the top and uh, the secondary coil is going round and through a uh, drink shaker which we're using for the capacitance of it and uh, we are getting a much brighter uh, output really that's okay if I move it slightly closer that is the uh, output and this is the input it's uh, pretty close there I think so uh, all we need to do is be able to like uh, move these further apart from each other and uh, I think we've cracked it